Hello PlayStation Nation and Xbox friends, it's Mr. Allen C and today we're going to take a deep guided look into the world of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. All right. Hello PlayStation Nation, it's Mr. Allen C. My favorite viewers, like, comment, and subscribe and take a look at the main menu here of The Witcher Wild Hunt, The Witcher 3. Let's get started. You can see Gerald of Rivia, a witcher, aka a professional monster slayer. And he's just got back from a hunt and he's carrying a feared creatures, an enchanted creatures, head alongside his saddle. It's the Griffin's head, to be exact. Now this, right here, this gameplay reminds me of Zelda on N64. It was one of my favorite games of the time. Now you can see we're coming up on the city of Novigrad. This is the largest city in the world of the Witcher, and we're on our way to meet Geekstra. He's a spy and a powerful mobster, and we're going to see that if we scratch his back, maybe he can scratch ours. So as we continue to approach the city, you can see there's a bridge, there you can see a wild horse, many people, you can see there's people out boating, very exciting. There's a knight, I'll see you inside the city. Ah, I knew you'd make it inside the city. Now, here in the city, we can see a lot of action going on. The population here is several thousand, and there's inns, there's brothels, there's homes made of brick. The streets are paved for the convenience. We got artisans, a breathtaking temple. It's, we also have, we can boast about the largest seaport in the area being in this city. Welcome to Novigrad. And just like in Battlefield 4, like they would say, this world, it's living, it's breathing. There are so many different people with different agendas. Good, evil, they all have their own attitudes. They all have different activities they do in the daytime and activities they do in the nighttime. You're going to run into some real characters in Novigrad. Witchers are kind of heroes around here. In a moment, we'll come upon some kids and just take a listen of what they have to say as we run by on our horse. We have an agenda. Let's play Foot and the Witch. Yeah! Every decision you make is going to affect a different aspect of your adventure in this game. In a moment, we're going to see some of a cinematic part and it's gonna really show you it's gonna drive fear into you and show you how cool the adventure is going to be are you ready let's meet our friend in the bar tavern greetings Dijkstra how's your health you're late fulfilling my end of the bargain brought you the head just like you wanted it's hooked to my saddle Somebody should get it. Hmm. I've fulfilled my end as well. Dug up that bloody information you wanted. What have you learned? Your ashen-haired lass with the scar on her cheek. She's presumably in Velen. Was seen there in the company of a creature that goes by the name of Johnny. Don't laugh, but to believe the witness's tale, this being looks a bit like a child and lives in some burrow in the woods. Probably a bucka or a Luton, but she's in Velen. Damn it. Geralt, is she who I think she is? Thanks, Dijkstra. That was going well spent. Nice talking to you. The time I was on my way. All right, Dijkstra, aka Jibber Jabber Jaws, tells us that the creature and Johnny we are looking for our deep south in a valley that they only refer to as no man's land now the creature was last seen there and it is some distance so we're gonna haul ass and make some time getting there what our plan is here is we're gonna use a signpost to teleport in a sense to the outer parts of the city Now, another cool thing about this game is every village, 
Every tower, every building in eyesight can be explored. So in some games you see a tower off in the distance and you can't get to it. That is not the case in The Witcher 3. There are no invisible walls to hold you back. It looks like we may have found our post, our signpost. Fast travel allows you to visit places you've explored in the game in the past. It allows you to jump to that area. Now if we would have rode our horse at full gallop, full speed, it would have taken us 15 to 20 minutes to reach the destination where we're just going to transport. That is incredible. That just talks about the mass scale of this game. So, I'd say we are now in the heart of no man's land. No laws exist here. I guess if this was destiny, you would call this a crucible. Now, Dijkstra told us we are looking for a creature that's full grown, but it looks like a small child. So, if we see some kind of like kid footprints, we'd most likely be able to follow them straight to the thing's hideout. Well, let's keep looking. Ooh, what's that muddy little footprint in the sand? I'm gonna follow that. Something tells me we're close. Alright, what's this strange looking cave? Johnny? Don't be afraid. Well, Johnny's asking us to help him restore his voice since we need information. That seems like something we'd probably want to do. So he's asking us to follow him. And that's what we're going to do. And what we run into, well, it's enough to make a full-grown man shit his pants. So you may be seeing that in an upcoming video. Also, just have to try the game out for yourself. <laughs> 